We finally got some details about the cast in the Avatar live-action Netflix remake. First of all, there were some rumors a few months ago about them changing the ages of some, but not all, of the characters. The rumors were that Katara would be aged up to 16 and Sokka would be aged down to 14 while Aang remained at 12. I thought that would have been really dumb, but now the ages of the characters have supposedly been confirmed to be 12 for Aang, 14 for Katara, 16 for Sokka, and 17 for Zuko. So basically they just aged up Sokka and Zuko by one year each. That's fine, I guess? I've said before I would have been fine aging up all the characters, all of them, not just some of them, by like four years each or something. I think it would make casting easier because it would be easier to have actors that look like they're between 16 and 20, even if they age a couple years over the years of production. For example, if they get a 12-year-old actor to play 12-year-old Aang in Season 1, he's probably going to be 15 or 16 by the time they produce Season 3. And 15-year-olds usually look a lot older than 12-year-olds. But if they get a 16-year-old actor to play a 16-year-old Aang in Season 1, by the time they make Season 3, he might be 19 or 20. And a 19-year-old can pass as a 16-year-old much easier than a 15-year-old can pass as a 12-year-old. Kind of like how 20-year-old Tom Holland was still believable as a 16-year-old Peter Parker. Although, I guess they could get around this problem by just having the show take place over a couple years instead of over 10 months. Yeah, that's right. If you didn't know, Avatar The Last Airbender only takes place over 10 months. I would be totally fine if the live-action show changed it so the story took place over three or four years or something. To be honest, I think that would actually be an improvement on the original series. The characters mastering the elements over a couple years feels more believable than them doing it in a few weeks or months. Some other news that we've heard about the cast is that the ethnicities of some of the actors have apparently been confirmed. They've said that the actors for Katara and Sokka will be Native American, and the actors for Aang and Zuko will be Asian. I am glad to hear that so far they're keeping to Mike and Brian's promise of having a culturally appropriate, non-whitewashed cast. They've also said that they're having closed casting through agencies right now, and that the production of the show will begin in November. They've also hired some guy named Albert Kim to replace Brian and Mike as the new showrunner. He's been a showrunner, writer, and producer from some shows I've never watched or heard of like Sleepy Hollow, Nikita, Leverage, and Dirt. They've also hired some guy named Michael Goy to be the director for an unknown number of episodes. He's best known for being a director for American Horror Story, among other things. And they've also hired some guy named Michael Wiley to be the production designer. His job will basically be designing all the sets and props for the show. He's previously worked on some shows I've never seen, like Pushing Daisies, Jordan Peele's The Twilight Zone, and The Mysterious Benedict's Society. He's got his work cut out for him, though, with Avatar, so I hope he's good at his job. I'm getting a lot of this information from a source called Avatar News. They have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a website, so you might want to go follow them if you want to stay updated with all the news about Avatar. So yeah, that's basically everything we know about the live-action show right now. There's some more Avatar news to talk about, but before that, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to stay updated on any future Avatar news. In other news, Nickelodeon has announced an Avatar podcast called Avatar. Braving the Elements. It will be hosted by Zuko's voice actor, Dante Bosco, and Korra's voice actor, Janet Varney. Apparently, they're gonna re-watch the series, reliving some of the show's most iconic moments while they, quote, break down key themes, notable battles, and behind-the-scenes trivia. There'll also be special guest appearances along the way featuring various cast members or those in the production team. <clears throat> Maybe they could have some... Avatar fan <clears throat> YouTubers on there as well. <coughs> the podcast will start on June 22nd. In other news, an Avatar animal guidebook called Beasts of the Four Nations has been announced. It will basically be a guidebook for all the different animals in the world of Avatar. I really like world building, so I think this could be really cool. 
I remember there used to be stuff kinda like this, like additional information on everything on the original Avatar website, so I hope it expands on that information instead of just reiterating it. And this book will be released on October 13th of this year, 2021. In other news, there was an Avatar voice actor live comic reading a few weeks ago. It was a reading of the comic called Toph's Metal Bending Academy, and it had Toph's voice actor, and Sokka's, and Suki's, and Tai Lee. I think. I actually made a post about it with my channel because I wasn't able to make a full video at the time. So yeah, for future reference, I will just make some posts about Avatar news in the future. The reading was recorded, so I will put a link to that in the description. In other news, the official Avatar YouTube channel totally clickbaited us, just as I suspected. They had said that a new Avatar series was premiering in April, but it was really just a fan-led discussion series. I haven't watched any of it yet, but what I'm really wondering is why wasn't I invited? Anyway, they later edited their original post to say fan-led discussion series after everyone got hyped for a new actual series. In other news, I made an Agni Kai arena on my island in Animal Crossing, and I'm kind of mad that the fire flower from Mario doesn't actually shoot fire. Like, come on, it, it should do that. <laughs> in other news, there was an avatar question on Jeopardy lately. The question was, like Aang in a previous series, Korra is working on becoming a master one of these. She was already a pro at fire, earth, and water. I guess the answer to this was, what is an airbender? But the question was worded so weirdly that I honestly probably would have gotten it wrong if put on the spot. I probably would have said, the elements or something. In other news, San Diego Comic-Con released its 2021 at-home streaming schedule, and there's no Avatar-related panels. I've only been going to Comic-Con for like five years now, but this is the first year I've seen where there was absolutely no Avatar panel, so I guess we aren't getting any really big announcements about Avatar Studios or the live-action show anytime soon. Although Mike and Brian did announce recently that they have many plans for Avatar Studios that could potentially potentially last 20 years. In other news, you can now play Avatar Legends, the tabletop RPG, with free quick start rules. I've never played RPGs, so I don't know what that means, but the rules are available on Magpie Games' website. There's also a Kickstarter campaign for the game starting on August 3rd. In other news, the Avatar LEGO Ideas LEGO set still needs your help. So, LEGO has this program called LEGO Ideas where anyone can design a LEGO set, and if it gets 10,000 supporters, it will be made into an actual LEGO set. But the thing is, is it needs to get those supporters in a certain time limit, and there's less than 100 days remaining. It's only at 3.7 thousand supporters at the moment, but if it gets to 5,000 in the next 100 days, then an extra 6 months will be added to the time limit. So please consider supporting the Avatar LEGO set, it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. You just make an account on the LEGO Ideas website and click the support button. I'll put a link to the page in the description. It'll also support my channel because I will be getting a cut of the profits if the LEGO set is produced. In other news, I have a new video up early on my Patreon right now. Supporting me on Patreon helps keep my channel running. For just $1 a month, you can see videos early, vote on future video topics, and get your name here with all these nice people. Jay Campbell, My Hero Mo, Charles Oberon, DJ Triple, Colleen West, Tania Foster, Joshua Lobsens, Super L, and Eduardo Kovacs. Big thanks to you guys, you guys help keep my channel running. If enough of my subscribers became patrons, I could do this full time, which means more videos, and that would be really cool. But you can also support my channel by hitting the like button, leaving a comment, and remembering to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to stay updated with any future Avatar news. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.